If your system is quite old and is low on resources like RAM, say 2GB or less, you can use ReadyBoost method to give your system's performance a slight bump. ReadyBoost is a Microsoft Windows Disk caching software component for Windows Vista and is included in later versions of Windows. It enables NAND memory mass storage such as compact flash, SD card, and USB flash drive devices to be used as a cache between the hard drive and random access memory in an effort to increase computing performance. ReadyBoost uses Windows Superfetch component or sysmain service. Superfetch works over time to learn how a user uses his or her computer throughout the day and weeks to improve performance based on the user's time-based computing habits. The key pages of such frequently used apps is maintained in hard drive by Superfetch. It prefetches and preloads these key pages into RAM ahead of time and manages it as per priorities. ReadyBoost is basically a cache for Superfetch. The idea is that flash memory has a much faster seek time than a typical magnetic hard disk, allowing it to satisfy requests faster than reading files from the hard disk. So, instead of fetching the key pages from a hard drive, fetching them from flash memory will be faster. ReadyBoost allows fast reads to satisfy page faults when the page is not in main memory, up to 10 times faster than random hard drive reads. It uses 1.8 times to 2.3 times compression and AES-128 to encrypt everything that is written to the device. Note that, what is analyzed and stored in the flash drive, by ReadyBoost, is a copy of key pages needed, and is already stored on a hard drive with no exceptions. So, in case someone removes the flash drive, the system will fall back to hard drive for accessing the required key pages. To use the ReadyBoost feature, we need a flash memory like USB drive or SD card of size in between 500 megabytes to 32 gigabytes. Once connected to the computer, right-click the drive and select Properties. Now select ReadyBoost tab. If your USB is compatible with ReadyBoost, you will get three options to choose from. Do not use this device, it is selected when we want to turn off ReadyBoost on your device. Dedicate this device to ReadyBoost. This option will set your entire remaining USB drive storage capacity for storing cached files. Use this device. It will let you choose how much storage space, on the USB drive, you wish to give to ReadyBoost for storing cached files. Choose one of the last two options and click OK. Your USB device is now used for the ReadyBoost. If you open the USB device, you can see a file named readyboost.sf cache. That is your cache file. Your ReadyBoost device is supposed to be connected to your system all the time. But if you wish to remove it, always remove a flash drive by safely ejecting it. Suppose, you want to switch off the ReadyBoost. While your ReadyBoost device is connected to your system, right-click on your USB drive and select Properties. Select the ReadyBoost tab and in that select the first option. Do not use this device. And click OK. Your USB drive will be freed from ReadyBoost. Issues that can arise while setting ReadyBoost. Suppose, you don't get the ReadyBoost option for your flash drive, then try the following fixes. In the ReadyBoost tab, click Test again. Your device will be tested again for its compatibility for ReadyBoost. If it doesn't solve the issue try the next fix. Format the flash drive using NTFS or XFAT file system. To format your drive, right-click on it and select Format. Select the file system as NTFS or XFAT. Check mark the Quick Format option and click Start. Note that, all the data present in the flash drive will be lost so better take a backup before formatting it. Try setting ReadyBoost again on your flash drive. If it doesn't solve the issue, try the next fix. Delete all external drive folders from registry. To do that, press the Win plus R key to open the Run dialog box, and then type regedit in it and hit Enter. In the Registry Editor window, locate the following path from the left sidebar. HKY underscore local underscore machine Software Microsoft
Windows NT. Current version. EMD Management. Once you reach the EMD Management location, open the folder and you will find all saved folders related to the connected drive. Here you need to delete every folder under the EMD Management folder with name starting as underscore double question mark underscore USB store. Then reboot the system. These steps should solve your issues regarding not being able to set ready boost. If the issue is not solved, then probably the flash drive is either corrupt or not compatible with ready boost. Note that if your operating system is installed on SSD then there is no need for ready boost. Because, SSD is already fast, even faster than a flash drive. If you have a large RAM size then you may not need ready boost. Another issue you can face is, suppose you have connected a flash drive that is more than 4 GB space and yet the ReadyBoost tool only identifies 3.6 GB or 4 GB. It means, either your operating system is 32-bit or your flash drive's file system is FAT32. To check which architecture of operating system is installed, search, about, in the search bar. And click on, about your PC. You will see system type. It will be either 64-bit or 32-bit. If your system is 32-bit then you will have to work with the limitation of 4 GB because 32-bit operating systems have a 4 GB file size limitation. But if your system is 64-bit then check the flash drive's file system. To check the flash drive's file system, right-click on the flash drive and select Properties. Next to the file system you will see FAT32. The FAT32 file system is relatively old. It has a 4 GB maximum file size limitation. You need to format the drive and select NTFS or XFAT as the file system. After changing the file system, you should be able to use the actual capacity of the flash drive. This is all about ReadyBoost, how to set ReadyBoost for our system, and fixes to some of the issues we may face while setting ReadyBoost. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.